I went to Macy's in Philadelphia where everybody is busy getting their Christmas shopping done. But if you stop and take a minute to look behind the decorations and Christmas light displays, you'll find one of the lesser known prized possessions of Philadelphia, the world's largest fully functioning pipe organ. Peter Richard Conti is the Wanamaker Grand Court Organist at Macy's and his love for the organ came from his mom. We had a keyboard in our house, a piano, and so we would play like duets together when I was very, very young. And then we got an organ from my house that we'd, we'd do organ and piano duets. It was just in the family. Where was your first concert then? I think I was 13 or 14 and I played a concert in uh, New York City actually. It was Grace Church Lower Broadway. It takes a special talent, which few possess, to play this type of instrument. Peter Conti is one of the best and the music he plays is beautiful. There's a sense of, of power that comes with playing such a massive instrument like this, but there's an elation about making you know, great music on a great instrument. For long there are concerts twice a day, except for Sundays because it's impossible to get an organist to play on Sunday, they're all at church. <laughs> <laughs> Plus the not-for-profit Friends of the Wanamaker Organ hosts three concerts a year at Macy's Philadelphia After Hours. These concerts, they set up chairs around the big eagle statue inside of Macy's. Meet at the Eagle is a famous saying in the city. The organ is just part of the culture of the city. Kurt Mengel, who is the curator of the organ and responsible for holiday light displays at Macy's, has worked to keep the Pike organ fully functioning, and he says it's a real advantage to work with Peter. He's probably one of the greatest organists of our time. This instrument is designed to be a little Philadelphia orchestra. Peter can do nine different lines of music at the same time with his hands and feet. went on a tour of the Wanamaker organ. This is the single largest organ chamber ever built. It's the string organ for us. It's 118 voices or ranks of pipes and they're all strings. We walked inside the lungs of the organ, a room where three wind machines create compressed air. This is in it. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. pretty cool. I'm actually standing inside of That's an instrument cool. right there. Finally, we walked inside cool. the chamber that holds the woodwinds section of the orchestra. You never see this kind of a collection of orchestral woodwinds anywhere in the world. Christmas festivities at Macy's started back on Black Friday and they will end New Year's Day. This organ is really a marvel. It was built in the 1900s and it cost about a hundred thousand dollars. So it was made in the 1900s and there's been four or he's like the fifth grand court organist to ever play there. Did he let you play it? I was so nervous stepping into that. I was <laughs> sure I was going to cause a catastrophe sitting down. He's like, you can't break it. You can't break because you use your feet when you play and there's all these buttons. What does it feel like being next to him while he's playing? Is it, is it just vibrant in the air? I mean, I can only imagine. He talked to me about Macy's shoppers getting shoes and they don't expect a live organ to be playing at the store and they come up to him crying saying it was so beautiful you played. Mm -hmm.